Well, hello, traders. How are y'all? It is a Thursday. It is Bowden by Candlelight. I will have my Blossom Possum Learns to Save book downtown Bowden today. If any of y'all are near, you can get your copy for only $19.99. Of course, I don't have change. So, I, uh, yeah, I turned the lights on. And, uh, yeah, my kids are in school, though. And we just had lunch. We had lunch with them yesterday with my third graders. Had lunch with my second grader today. And I got to say, the cafeteria is up their game. It was really good. The uh, dressing, as some of you northerners will call it, stuffing. It's not stuffing. It's just dressing. And if you never had the difference, uh, dressing is so much better. Like, some of y'all do like stovetops. Yeah, y'all come over to our house for Thanksgiving. Best said y'all just come on over. All of y'all welcome. If y'all in West Georgia, just come on over. Might have to sit on the floor because we don't have a lot of chairs. And my kids have basically destroyed this house that was built in 1860. My God, this house was built when Abraham Lincoln was president of the United States. And uh, it's about to face the same fate that he did, I guess. Uh, but, well, my kids bet they're tearing the place up, for God's sake. All right, what were we talking about? Oh, the markets. Here we go, baby. We are flat. Look at this. Flat, 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 flat as a flitter. So let's see what it looks like. Let me fix my little thing here. If you keep this thing open, you have to change the time frame or it just jumps. So that's why I do that every day. So we've got average volume. We've got VIX. That's up a little bit from what it was yesterday, isn't it? 14, but AD is 49. It is flat. It is an inside day. This is the day you zero DTE traders should be able to sell some premium and make some money because it is a flat, flat day. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I shouldn't say that, though. The reason it's flat is because our friend and compadre, j Powell, or is that yesterday he spoke? Yeah, so I don't keep up with that crap. I don't care. I, I guess he spoke yesterday. So uh, we got nothing to fear. It's just an old average foreign day. Nothing, nothing going on at all. Let's see our, our big green monster looks like. Aha! Big green monster. We are still overbought, y'all. And remember, what we said is we, you know, it may stay up here a little longer because our point of control here, but we're going to test these levels. These levels are right for the picking. Sell your calls while you can sell your calls. And this is verified by our friends over at the Linear Regression Where's my freaking linear regression chart? There it is. Exhaustion in the market. Look at the, look at the, we talk about it daily. Exhaustion in the market. Market starts slowing down and a turnaround is coming. It is just a matter of time, probably in the next 10 days, but we don't care because we trade the one, one, two. Now, Victor is here. Y'all, I read Victor's little message yesterday. Let's see if we can go to Victor's room here. If y'all not in our Discord, y'all are missing out. Where's Victor's room? Uh, where's Victor's room at? Hold on. Here we go. Victor's steady income trading room. Uh, Victor said this, rest in peace, one two one. Thank you for your service. Unfortunately, the one two one trade didn't behave as strongly in the grind-down market of late as I had hoped for, and I had to decide what to do about it. To be fair, I didn't have a single losing trade. Neither did I. But the volatility of the count was larger than it could and should have been. We can't let our egos ruin our return. So as much as it would be nice that it worked out the way I wanted, one has to recognize when improvement change is needed. I noticed that this was happening a while ago, and I've been working on a new trade that will become the workhorse of my account. When you see it, it will be familiar, yet radically different. How about that? So I can't wait. I said looking forward to it. So anyway, I think you're right. I think the one two one is dead. We have killed it. Again, we didn't lose on it. Our accounts are at all-time highs, but we didn't like the volatility of the returns that we were getting. Right? We need something that does a little bit better on the grind down. And I think the 112, and in this longer term that we're doing, is fine. If you want to do it 60 days, it's fine. If you want to do it 90 days, fine. If you want to do it 120 days, it's fine. I just think it's what we need for our account. I think that's what it is. But I don't know what I'm doing because I am a student driver. Oh, y'all can't see that. I'm a student driver. I'm in learning. I'm a student trader. I have no idea what I'm doing. Got that from my daughter. Because people keep blowing the horn at us. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's so embarrassing. I, you know, when she's driving, I'm like, oh. all right, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, let's look at the other accounts are doing. So let's look at our IRAs. We've got two of them here. 
So let's see how they're doing. We'll start with the IRA first. So let's go to the IRA. That's this one. And I would imagine we're at all time highs on this one. So let's see. The old IRA is at 92037. 92037. 9203. Y'all, look at this. 92037. Fire up the band, Rico. Wow, look at us. We are the stuff now. This is, a, this is an all time high on that account. You know, we're doing really good. We started the year off at what? 84. Oh, it started at eighty-seven. Oh, I took money out. I forgot twenty-three thousand. But anyway, we're up. Uh, we're up. Uh, whatever, seven point five five percent. Now is that seven point five five percent on the eighty something or the hundred twenty something? I didn't look at that because we took money out, y'all. All right. So and we actually took money out of this and made the the Roth IRA. So we may actually be more than seven and a half percent. Well, that would be good. All right. So let's see our Greeks and ratios today. Today, today. Greeks and ratios are, let's take our little groupies off. Here we go. And we are at 5247. 5247. Let's put that in. 5247. And our VIX is at 14. So, ooh, we need some data. And our buying power is a measly, and I do mean a measly, 19.5. All right, nineteen five. So that looks good, right? Everything looks good, but to me, we need to put on the tray. Let's see if there's any trades that need uh, taking off. No, everything looks good. Let's see how many nakeds we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nakeds, and one, two, three, four, five debit spreads. So really, I don't have as much protection to the downside that I should have. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a one, a one, two, since we did kill the one. I'm, I'm glad Victor felt the same way as I did. I'm glad. It's, it's like, what is there? It's misery loves company. And it was not that it was miserable. It's just that it didn't behave like we wanted it to. All right, so let's put us in a trade, don't you? <sighs> All right, so let's go to the trade tab. And I probably should do a two contract. Right, because we've got really low theta, and let's see where we could do this at. MES, we said 120 days. Which one's closer to 120? So we could do this uh, 127 day there. Make sure that the liquidity looks good. Okay, good. So uh, what did we say? Five delta. Let's see. I don't know if I like the liquidity on this. 905 to 1050. Let's look at that AM settle. See what that looks like. 127. See if it looks a little better here at the 5% level. Mm, I don't know. 85 cents. Mm. Um, 5% money in the bank. Here we go. 35.50. So let's sell that one at, come here. We know that's not crazy. Let's sell that up at the 15 or so. 14.75. 14.50. Sell. Four of those? Four of the 1450s? Come here, baby. Feel me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 127 days. We said the 35.50. Let's go put that in our spreadsheet because I won't do it if I don't do it now. So y'all just have to hang with me. So let's go naked put 96. And this is MES. MES, dang it. Dag nab it. What's wrong with this thing? And so we did four contracts of the 3550 puts naked 127. Wow, we have not made a trade in this month. Isn't that crazy? And so we did it for what was it, 1475? I think that's right. 1475. We did four of those. All right, so let's go back. Let me double check that. 1450. Let me say. 1450. All right, now, so now let's go and let's do two of our, two contracts of our put debit spread. 
And I think, y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I think I may start keeping up with these as individual trades, you know, like the 1121, 112, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. So we go normally to about the 25 delta, 25% probability of being in the money. So let's look at this uh, 4200, 4150. Let's see how much that's going for. $9. So we want to do two of these, right? Two contracts. So let's see if we can get Phil there. Come on, little baby. Let's bump it up a little bit. Let's bump it up to nine and a quarter. So if that gets Phil. And we are done at 915. So we did the 42, 4150. 42, 4150. 4200, 41. 50, and we said we got filled for 915. 915. Good. And we did two contracts there, so we'll call this PDS 96. Puts, debit spread, and 127. There we go. 11, 9, 23. Beautiful. So we got about a $200 credit, a little under $200 for the entire trade. All right, beautiful. So that's what we want to do. Uh, now, don't forget to do this, because I forget sometimes and have to go back later. Let's show our groups. And we can go here and go naked puts, move to group nakeds, even though I may start tracking these things together, and we'll move that to put debit spreads for the time being. Put debit spread. Good. All right, so let's go to the other account, the 2030 account. And let's see what we've got over here. Hopefully, the Rico can fire up the band. 29 268. 29 268. Talk to me, Daddy. 29 268. It ain't much, but it's up. 268. Fire it up, Rico. Well, we're moving on up. We're moving on up. To the east side. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. Yes, hallelujah. All right, so. Let's see how we're doing on our Greeks and ratios over here. So over here, we're at 24, 23. 24, 23. 24, 23. Little bit on the, you know, we want to use a little bit more buying power. So we go over here and we're using so we've got a good problem here, y'all. We've got, uh, I mean, we're using a little bit too much here. Now, this is here. You know, I guess that's fine. I guess I could, you know, put something on. Let's see if any of our trades are saying that they need to be managed, and it doesn't. Let's see. we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven naked, and one, two, three, four, five, six debit spreads. Much, much, much better. That's what we really, really like. So, uh, you know, with being 0.08, I think I'm just going to leave this one. Let's see how we're doing in relations to the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is up 9.36%. You and I are up 12.09%. Why? Because I am Sweet Bobby, the world's worst trader, the student trader. Again, student, student, warning, warning. Please be patient. All right. I think that's all I'm going to do. I think there's anything else to do. All right, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I will see y'all tomorrow.